Hello, I'm Retta, and I'm sorry if at any point you get... If you continue to watch the video that you get so immersed in the game that Rocky breaks your immersion. Sorry about that, because he's sitting on my shoulder. There he goes. This is a free-to-play game on Steam. I was going to do a uh, playthrough that was kind of uh, first impressions, but uh, I started to play it. Oh, thanks for shitting on me, Rocky. And then I kept playing it, and I got <laughs> finished getting all the achievements in the game. I think there are 17, and just to let you know what kind of a game this is, I think about 15 of them are death achievements, so it's a text-based adventure sort of a thing. Choose your own adventure, really, kind of. But let's start. Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crop's beginning to wilt, and your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You've made up your mind. You're going to do something about it. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. So, I will... Ah! Thank you, Rocky. I will essentially be avoiding death for a while. I might let myself die a couple of times to show you what it's like, but otherwise I shall be pretty much ignoring it. Sorry, I had to just kind of pause there, cleaning the rocky crap on me. Uh, go to the shed. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door won't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with a key, because that's smart. This is what the house looks like. Entering the house, you feel a subtle uneasiness as if your growing blight outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems will just go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. I'm not going to read my journal. There's nothing in the chest. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm not going to lay in bed, because as I said, I would like to avoid death from the beginning for at least a while. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. I'm gonna go to the crops. A path divides the crops that you have laboured so hard to prosper these past months. A penetrating odour reminds you that your plants are decaying away and time is running short. I'm gonna go to the pen. A toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. Your poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand there, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that got that dot the ground. I'm going to leave the pen and follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you, you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. I'm going to continue down the path. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. I shall inspect because I need this. You look about the mess and bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack, similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you recall. Maybe he is home? Uh, okay. So, in order to get into the shack, you need the key, so you have to inspect the wagon if you want to get in here. You walk toward the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon and use it on the door. The door unlocks. You decide to help yourself in. Must be friendly neighbours. Even though you walk for an hour or two, observing the empty room, you realise something terrible must have taken place here. Oh my god, who could knock the pictures off the wall like that? The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. You are overcome with fear as you think to the, think of the man that used to dwell here. I'm not going to read his journal. I didn't come in here for no reason, so I'm going to open the trap door. But when I first played this, I went down the trap door and I essentially got killed. <laughs> but I hadn't tried the other option. And when I showed my friend this game, we went for the option that I hadn't done yet. And we were both kind of sat there going, what? <laughs> That's disturbing. You observe the trapdoor and notice a lock keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downward, because that's a very smart thing to do. Walking down the steps le leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. Can I have some of that cold here? It's too hot. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall. 
How long ago did the guy leave? You notice immediately that there is... Wait, I just read that. She doesn't seem to notice you as, as you study her. Not creepy at all. You feel darkness surround you as you stay in this awful place. I shall talk to her. But I'm not going to free her. I did that the first time by mistake. You tremble as you try to form the words in your mouth. You there, let me out of here. She's very posh, apparently, for being chained to a wolf so long. The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. What got you locked up to begin with? You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please have mercy on me. I'm going to decline. I will not. No, don't go. There's nothing else to interact with. You make your way up the stairs. As you exit, you can hear the woman laugh behind you. The voice causes the shack to shake. And you get the fuck out of that place. Probably should have read that, sorry. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you could take my, should take a moment to rest and find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. But you're against the tree, so you're essentially... I mean, if you're looking straight up, you're looking into foliage and not sky. I'm going to take a nap because I'm going to try to avoid death for a while. Your eyes close and your body relaxes. You fall asleep within seconds. Tell me how you did that. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. It's me without makeup. Details emerge as, you're, as you gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you and you realise who this is. You try to wake yourself up. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. You reach a point where the trail splits into two paths. Which way should you go? I'm going to go left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up toward a nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would never have noticed. Which way do you go? If I'm thinking correctly, I'm going to continue down. Nope, I was thinking wrong. That's a deadly well, by the way. Spoiler alert. I'm going to follow the trail. That's right. Now I'm in the right direction. Follow the subtle trail in the grass. You stumble upon what looks like a little grave. A little grave? Like a grave. I'm putting words that aren't even there. Uh, for now, I'm going to continue on. I might actually leave on that bit. Continue on. Or rather, no, I won't. I'll leave on this bit and I'll, I'll finish the video here. You you pause to see that there is a lake nearby. The trail continues on to your right. I'm going to continue along the trail and then come back here. The faint trail comes to an end. There is a collection of stone pillars down the hill. Beyond the hill is a large field of grass. I'm going to explore the field. You find yourself gazing over a grass field with, his, with hills rolling off into the distance. Oh my god, it's a unicorn! It's so fluffy! As if a trick upon your eyes, you see the unicorn run across the field. It disappears out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique powers of a unicorn can help you with your quest, but there is clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. And there is. I just didn't do it this time. I already read that. I'm going to go back. Because you got to go back. I've read that before. I'm inspecting the lake now. You step near the lake and look down into it. That's a very clear lake. Resting underwater is an orb of some sort, sitting at the bottom of the lake. Well, actually, it could be glowing and you could see through. But anyway, there is something strange about it, as if it were calling out to you. I shall dive in because there should be no possible thing that could kill me here. You close your eyes and jump into the lake. You open your eyes to see... Who opens their eyes underwater? Uh, well, you can. I just... I guess for me it burns. You open your eyes to see the stone sitting before you. You start to make your way toward it. It's a fishy! A large fish comes into view. Nothing bad could happen here. It quickly notices that you with its mouth stretched open, because those teeth aren't sharp for any reason. You try to leave the surface, but the fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. Ding dong, the witch is dead. You close your eyes at the giant fish rips your body apart with its teeth. You die a very painful death. Your adventure ends here. So a lot of the time you will get that message of your adventure ends here. And that's why I'm ending the video. But it's, um, yeah, so I think I said 17, 17 achievements. I think at least 15 or so of them were death achievements. So that should tell you 
a lot <laughs> already. But I found it a fun game, as I said, because I, I wanted to do f first reactions, but I ended up playing the entire game <laughs> and then, then did this recording. So if you have continued to watch, thank you. I'm not going to do a second video, but I, I do recommend checking it out anyway. Some of the drawings are very freaky, like even I went, oh, I don't want to look at that. And I don't get scared or freaked out easily by those sorts of things. But again, thank you for watching if you have. I have been Retta. Not really sure how much Rocky chirped in, but again, thank you for watching. See ya!